It's my feel-good breakfast show. Welcome back to your feel-good breakfast show. Great to be in your company, of course, uh, and at this time when we are enjoying the ICC oh, the highs, Cricket the World lows. Cup, which is in progress, and we thought we'd show our pro fire by profiling some of our veterans or some of our team um, uh, players, of course, spin bowler Imran Tahir, who was selected in the pro 2019 Cricket World Cup squad, and at the age of 40 years old, he has a chance to become South Africa's oldest ever tournament player. Um, he's definitely an example uh, of old but gold, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> and here to help us look at his illustrious career, uh, sports anchor Jeremy Harris joins us this morning. Older but golden. <laughs> older yeah, but golden. It's an how oldie but a goodie. How do you feel right now, bro? I'm like, come on. An ancient. I didn't realize cricket was such a, 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 you know, had such a bias, man. Um, no, it's weird with, with Emmy because he is so youthful. You yeah. Know, the exuberance of youth. Um, he's almost the, the youth of the team. You kind of get a sense he loves cricket more than any other person yeah, on the planet. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he definitely deserved to be there. Do you reckon he's the man for this tournament? I think that, that he's going to have a, a big say in terms of the outcome of, of quite a few games. Um, as he does. As he does. He's as, he, as he does. Anyway. Yeah. You know, I mean, the, the first South African, for example, to take seven wickets uh, you know, in an innings in an ODI innings, which is no mean feat. Uh, and I mean, talking about his age, he's 40 years young. He's not 40 years old. Yes, right? He you. really has got a, a lot of youth uh, on his side. Do you remember your kind of first thoughts of Imran Tahir when he made his way onto the, the cricket scene? Do you know, now and then, yeah. the, when, when I think of Imran Tahir, I'm thinking of a guy who picks up a wicket and then charges off <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> and then you lose him. Yeah. <laughs> it's in God. Everybody's celebrating. And, and the game pauses for about 10 days and yeah. then you start again. <laughs> Comes back. I mean, somebody was saying that, that he spends more time celebrating the wicket than he does sort of running in, the, in a normal game, you know? Yeah, well, that's the thing. As a spin bowler, you get a limited run up. He's just trying to, you know. Um, but he's one of those players that makes the game exciting because, you know, that's, that's not usual that element. you see cricket players going to that extent to celebrate a moment whether it is yes. scoring a half ton or a ton or taking a fifer but, for every wicket he really injects energy into but I mean the that's game. I think what he what he brings to the game other than obviously his wicket taking yeah. abilities is there's a personality that he brings out and it's and it's good but he's it's pro tier fire baby and I think that's the the what I've loved the most is obviously he's, he's come from Pakistan um, would have had the opportunity to probably play for for that national team has chosen South Africa and has embraced being South African you can't can't fault him in the character that he's shown for the team for that badge yes. I mean you can see the, the honor of that it, for him to, to play in this team absolutely Graham I mean one thing that he does a lot is he, he pulls at his badge when he, yeah. when he picks up the wicket um, and, and I think that you know his, uh, his experience because I mean he's, he came into the, the national team at a I'm going to say an advanced age for a, for a cricketer, but I mean, he, he came in at, yeah. a, at an age, and, but he, he brought so much experience straight away. You know? yeah. What do you think is it for you personally as a, as a sports anchor, a moment in his career that has stood out for you? Well, look, probably that, that hat-trick yeah. against Zimbabwe, probably the seven-wicket pickup as well, but I, I just like the fact that every game, game in, game out, you know, you, you get Imran Tahir. Yeah. And, yeah, and you yeah. get that personality that charges off to the boundary that is just larger than life, that wants a, a review on any appeal. You know, he is in part, he's part of the game. He's become a master of the, the shortest format and mm. as a batsman as well. I mean, his average, I think, is about 16 or 19 or something, which in T20 is, is not bad for your, your strike bowler. Good economy rates. But in the ODIs is where he obviously has, yeah. has really shone. And Fafa's come out and said it's his, he's his secret weapon, not so secret yeah. weapon anymore. What is it about his bowling style? What is his, within that extensive bag of tricks, what is it that makes him so effective, do you think? Look, I think that, that you know, the, the, the spin bowling fraternity will go that, you know, he gives you very little time to settle because he's at the wicket so quickly. Yeah. You know, whereas uh, a Dale Stane, like a Kisarabad, has got the run up, you're getting yourself ready. You have time to, to really really your pants. Yeah. You know, yeah. what, <laughs> what next? You know? Very true. <laughs> you know, if you look at the, the long list of, of great spin bowlers that we've had uh, in South African cricket, the, the Pat Simcoxes, the Paul Adams. Paul Adams is, yeah. Um, what kind of legacy do you think Imran Tahir will leave? Look, Where I mean, do you rank him? Yeah. I, th I think that he's going to sit at number one. I mean, at the moment, he sits, in my book, he sits at number one. Yeah. Um, not only because he's active, but, but I think that he's, he just brings something different. I think there was a, a sameness to, the, to the, uh, you know, the bowling attack of the previous spin bowling fraternity. But I think now the, the, the attack and the, the, you know, what, what Imran Tahir brings 
is just something a little bit X factorish about him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you can't go, well, oh well, we're going to get exactly the same thing from Imran to here, one ball to the next, one over to the next, one yeah. game to the next. Yeah, yeah. It's different all the time, which is great. That's what makes him yeah. so exciting. One, one thing you will get is the fire, and we yeah. absolutely love yeah. the man. Boom. Um, we love his Boom. attitude. He's aggressive, Boom. but he's he always feels so positive, and hopefully he's lit that protea fire in you. Are you up to date with the who's who of South Africa and what they've been up to? Well, stay tuned. We're going to give you the opportunity to test your knowledge.